I'm going to do a video on everything you need when you're thinking about hitting the road. Um, I look really red. I think I'm a little bit sun-kissed, so yeah. Alright, so let's start with the list that I've written. So obviously before you go that you have check that you have fuel, check all your tires, everything like that. It's really important to to know where the fuel stations are in Australia if you're going remote especially um, because obviously you don't want to run out of fuel somewhere. So yeah, just check where the fuel stations are before you hit the road. Like not, you know, if you're traveling around the show, you don't need to look at where every fuel station is, just where you're going what to pack first aid kit so in our first aid kit we basically have band-aids mouthwash and like maybe some like insect itch stuff we don't really have much in our first aid kit but i highly recommend a first aid kit water like you definitely need a lot of water a lot of water we carry 10 liters on us all the time but if we're going remote we will take 20 to 30 liters of water just in case like, you know, you get stuck somewhere or you're going on a lot of hikes or whatever it is. To organise RACQ, um, Australia-wide, they'll look after you. We're with them just in case something happens. And food for emergencies. So, like, baked beans, some tinned vegetables. I don't know. You can get organic canned food. Uh, torches for the amount of people that you're travelling with. Maybe a torch each at night time if you need to go to a toilet somewhere paper map because you're not always going to get reception out in the middle of Australia so having a paper map is really important. Uh, warm blankets, warm clothes even if you're going somewhere very tropical like it's just important because you never know what's going to happen and obviously you need to stay warm. I'm so red! What? I don't even look this red. The camera's lying. All right um, some cash in case there's no FPOS machines or they break down wherever you are. Having some cash on you is important. Um, little fire extinguisher because it's hot in Australia. And, you know, depending on how good you are at cooking, you could start a fire. Uh, a spare set of car keys. We find that really important because uh, a lot of the time we get locked out of our van. So <laughs> it's really important to have a spare set of car keys. We've just got them somewhere. Toilet paper and baby wipes. So baby wipes we used a lot, especially going to Uluru because like you're not always having a shower every single night. Well, because we're in a camper van, obviously we don't have a shower in our camper van. So, uh, and there's not a lot of uh, caravan parks out there. So a lot, like a lot of the time we would be using baby wipes to wipe ourselves clean. And you do feel really clean afterwards, surprisingly clean. A cooktop. So we have a one gas burner cooktop, but I highly recommend two. Fry pan, a pot, plates, bowls, cutlery, bin bags, a fridge or an esky. Uh, we had a cooler uh, fridge thing. It's not a fridge. We thought it was a fridge and found out it wasn't a fridge. So that sucked. It was a lot of money. Don't get one of those. Um, get a fridge. Whoo, it's hot in this van. Do you like my earrings? Okay, what we eat on the road. Um, so this is just an overall idea. It's obviously not every single thing we eat, but just so you have an idea. So for breakfast, I will have oats and fresh fruit and some almond milk, um, sometimes some honey. At lunch, we just would have sandwiches or wraps or crackers and, I don't know, something. Uh, for dinner, we'd have like falafel salad, salmon, sweet potato, mash some vegetables uh vegan hot dogs uh tofu pesto pasta uh fried rice is really easy to make on the road um like a carbonara or something if we're going somewhere really really remote we will eat tuna and rice because it's super cheap and it's so easy to cook Obviously, a uh, bit of soy sauce. None of that needs to be refrigerated. Or like fr make up a fried rice or something like that. Our snacks, we would have nuts or fruit. Um, probably a lot of bananas. Kind of whatever's fresh in the town that we go to. How to know where to go and where to stay. We purchased a book. 
it's really old now and it's breaking a little bit but uh it was sixty dollars i highly recommend this book like we use this book the whole time we didn't use our phones at all this book shows you in every single state all the budget camp sites and all the free campsites all the rest stops along the highway it shows you everything um so we didn't pre-book anything by the way like when we got to Uluru, people had pre-booked this caravan park two years in advance. Two years, and they just took us as walk-ins and gave us a site. So, like, don't stress too much about where to stay. So, that's everything I think you need if you're thinking about going traveling um, by car. There's all different ways that you can travel on the road. So we just sleep in our van. We cook outside, we sit outside, we have camping chairs, we have picnic blankets. We spend most of our time outside. So this van is just to sleep in, which for us works perfectly because we want to spend most of our time outside. So I'll show you a quick little glimpse of our van so you have an idea of what we use. <laughs> 